Hi, this is CADCAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create such a part in FreeCAD. This is a relatively simple model but on this simple model I can show you some basic operations for creating 3D solids in FreeCAD. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and if you want to support this channel, you will find information in the description of this video on how to do that. Now let's move on to FreeCAD and I'll show you how to create such a part. We will start here by creating a parametric part. Click this parametric part button to create a new part in the part design workbench. We will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Select create sketch and select XY plane as the sketch plane. Next we will create a circle. Select create circle command and click on the origin point as the center of the circle. And here enter 150 millimeters as the diameter and press enter to confirm. Now draw a second circle, this time a circle with a diameter of 30 millimeters. OK. Now select create line command and draw a line in such a way that the ends points of the line lies on this circle and when the circle is highlighted click here to place the first point of the line here and now when the circle is highlighted click here to place the second point of this line on the circle. OK and as you can see automatic constraints have been applied linking the line endpoints to the circle. Let's do the same on the other side. Click on the circle here and click on the circle here and right click to cancel this command. Now we will add a symmetric constraint between these two points so that these lines are placed symmetrically relative to the y-axis since I would like these lines to have the same dimension. Here as you can see when I move one line the ends of these lines are linked to the circle but, but I can change the dimension of the line. I would like this line and this line to be the same and we will do that by using the symmetry constraint Let's select this point, select this point and select the y-axis and select symmetry constraint. OK, again let's select this point, this point and y-axis and select symmetry constraint. At this point these lines have changed to green and it may seem that the sketch is fully constrained but we have one degree of freedom here and when I change the position of one line the position of the other line adjusted but when I released the cursor the colors of these lines changed and these lines are white and these geometries are not constrained. We will constrain these geometries by adding a distance between these points. I select this point and this point and select the dimension command and here as the distance between these points let's enter 100 millimeters. OK. And now the sketch is fully constrained, but this sketch is not correct. We need to trim these parts of the circle. Select the trim edge command and trim these parts of the circle. OK, now the sketch is fully constrained. Let's close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create a solid by extruding the sketch. Select the path operation. 
and add an extrusion of 10 mm and click OK. Next we will create a sketch on this face, select this face and select create sketch. And here we will draw two circles in such a way that the first circle has the same diameter as this hole. And we will draw the second circle with a diameter of 40 mm. Select circle drawing command and place the center of the circle here. And as the diameter of the circle enter 40 mm, OK, and draw a second circle with any diameter. OK, and right click to cancel this command. And now I would like to link this circle with this hole. And to do that, I need to reference geometry so that I can link the sketch to the solid. And to do this, I have to use the create external geometry command. Select this command. Click on this edge, and now this edge is a reference geometry. Okay, right click to cancel this command, and now select the circle, select this line, and select equality constraint. And now this circle has the same diameter as the hole, and this circle is connected with the solid, and the sketch is fully constraint and close the sketch and based on this sketch let's add an extrusion of 5 mm select the path command enter 5 as the extrusion length and click ok to confirm here we will start by creating reference geometry select create external geometry command and select this edge and then select draw a circle command and draw a circle whose center will lie on the y-axis. When the y-axis is highlighted, click here and enter 40 mm as the circle diameter. OK. And let's draw another circle whose center will coincide with the center of this circle. Click here and as the diameter enter 20 mm and press enter to confirm. Now select polyline drawing command and draw a polyline in such a way that the first point of the polyline lies on this circle. Just like this when the circle is highlighted click here with the left mouse button to link the first point of the polyline to the circle. OK, then link the second point of the polyline to this point, the third point of the polyline to this point and finish drawing the polyline on this circle. And right click to finish drawing this polyline and right click again to cancel the polyline drawing command. Here we have something like this where this polyline is linked to the circle at the end point, but we can still move this polyline around the circle. And let's add a tangent constraint here. Select this end point and select the circle and select the tangent constraint. Click OK here and when it comes to the tangent constraint we can also select this line, select the circle and then select tangent constraint and here click OK and we have something like this. Now let's add a distance between this point and this point, select these two points and hit D to activate the dimensioning command and as the dimension enter 100 millimeters and press enter to confirm. Now select trim edge command and trim this fragment of the circle. And it may happen that a bit more geometry gets trimmed so press Ctrl Z and everything should look fine. Sometimes this trimming in FreeCAD can work in such a way that it trims too much geometry but after pressing Ctrl Z everything should be fine. Let's close the sketch. 
And now based on this sketch we will add an extrusion, select the path command. And here as you can see, even though we have an extrusion of 10 mm, nothing appears on the model. This is because the extrusion is being added from the solid as if in the outward direction and when creating 3D models in FreeCAD the next stage of a 3D solid must touch the previous stage of the 3D solid. In this case the next stage of the 3D solid that we want to create would not overlap this solid so it wouldn't work but here I want to add this extrusion into the inside of this solid so I select reversed option and now this extrusion is added in this direction into the inside of the solid and everything looks correct and click OK to confirm and now we will create another fragment of the solid but for this purpose I need to create a construction plane and this plane will be created in such a way that it passes through the center of this solid fragment. We will do this by holding the control key and selecting the edges of this hole OK, and now select create a datum plane command and now we have created a plane in such a way that it passes through this fragment of the solid and click OK and now select this plane and select create sketch and here select create external geometry command and select this edge and let's switch to section view OK. And here we will draw two circles whose center will lie at this point. Select create circle and draw the first circle with a diameter of 30 millimeters. OK. And draw a second circle with any diameter and right click to cancel this command. And now select this circle, select this circle and select equality constraint. Close the sketch and now based on this sketch we add an extrusion. Here select symmetric to plane and as the length enter 15 millimeters and click OK to confirm. And now in the feature tree I select the datum plane and press spacebar to turn off the visibility of this plane and we will create this fragment of the solid on the other side and we will do this using the mirror operation and to do this select this operation, select mirrored command and here we need to specify the mirror plane. In this case I would like the mirror plane to be the YZ plane, therefore for the plane select this plane and here there was some error, the mirror operation could not be performed but if we check transform body everything looks correct. Click OK and in this way with just a few simple steps we have created such a solid. And based on this solid I could show you several interesting options in FreeCAD. And that's all for today, thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.